Hey everyone, welcome to the T4 Show. My name is Michael Manna. As you can see here, we have many, many boxes and they are filled with really cool fitness equipment. And you can see they are from the Power Block company. And Power Blocks are my favorite dumbbells of all time. I recently just did the pull-up bar from Stud Bar Pull-Ups. That's my favorite pull-up bar of all time. But these dumbbells, I've traveled with them. I've done outdoor workouts with them. These are, these are the best dumbbells, in my opinion, for a home gym. And even some gyms who want to just add these uh, to their equipment list for people to use. So I'm just going to do a quick unboxing of these and also set them up. And also on the, um, on the side there, on the right side, is the dumbbell stand uh, for your power block dumbbells. And I don't know if I have enough tools uh, to put that together. Hopefully uh, it just takes a screwdriver and that's about it. But these dumbbells we have are the stage one and the stage two U90 uh, kits. So this is a stage two and this is a stage one. This goes from two and a half pounds to 90 pounds. I mean, a really far range of uh, dumbbell weights. And uh, I, think it, I think the cost, if you were to buy these dumbbells, say at $2.99 a pound, would total almost $8,000. And I can tell you, uh, I would not pay $8,000 for dumbbells unless I owned a gym, but these are much cheaper than that. So let's unbox it. We got the battering unboxing knife right here. And we may speed it up just uh, to do that. All right. So the camcorder ran out of uh, juice, uh, the battery died on it, which I thought would have been a really good thing because I started to put the stand together and I thought, well, I shouldn't film that because I'm no good at putting stuff together, just like in the previous video with the pull-up bar. But this stand was incredibly easy to put together. It came with all the tools, which was just an Allen wrench, screws and washers. All you do is put the screws on the outside, washers on the inside, and use the Allen wrench and put it together in under 10 minutes. So that worked out great. It's still standing, hasn't fallen over yet. And now we're gonna take a look at the actual dumbbells. And I'm gonna describe some differences between these U90s and the Sport 5.0s that I had before. So gonna be a little bit of shaky cam. I'm gonna have the camcorder in my hand as I show you the features of these U90 Stage 1 and Stage 2 Power Block dumbbells. Now they are called U90s, which the U stands for urethane, which the uh, Sport 5.0 were metal dumbbells with a metal pin. And I'm gonna take the pin out here. And as you can see here, the pin is plastic. And it has two markers on it instead of the one metal pin that the Sport 5.0s have. And you can see here, maybe you can't, this is urethane, it is not metal and that will allow the dumbbells to be very quiet and also not make noise or scratch. I mean, they're definitely gonna be even more durable than the 5.0s. And here you can see, we have a chart here of the way the weights goes. It's a little bit more complicated going all the way up to 90, and here's 15. And you also see on the stand, these are for two and a half pound uh, inserts that go into the handles when you take the power blocks out. So also has a switch here for open and closed. And I have to say these are really, really durable. These feel even heavier than the metal ones. I have to say power block dumbbells in themselves like the Sport 5.0, and I described that when I unboxed those, they feel heavier than the standard dumbbells at most gyms that I've worked out at. And these feel even heavier than the Sport 5.0. So, uh, I, I really do. I haven't used them yet. I can't wait till tomorrow morning uh, to do P90X. I think I'm going to do Total Body Plus and some abs, abs Core Plus. So these are going to come in handy along with the stud bar pull-up bar. So should be able to stream that video. As a matter of fact, I might be streaming using Wirecast. So please go to t4show.com forward slash live or even follow me at Michael Manor on Twitter and I'll let you know when I'm going to be streaming my live workouts. So. Uh, that's about it for everybody here at the T4 Show. Uh, the garage light went out. Thank you. Best of luck in all your future fitness endeavors. Whoops. Almost forgot to uh, christen the stand and put the label on. 
and make it official. Hopefully that'll be nice and even. I guess. There we go. Now, best of luck in all your future fitness endeavors.